Hello everyone, welcome to Driving Production. In this episode, we're gonna be installing some sound deadening in the Mazda 3. So I think this car from the factory is pretty loud just to drive it around. Uh, for example, you hear a lot of road noise, you can hear the wind coming in. So overall, that's why I, I wanted to do sound deadening prior. One, we actually don't have a cargo cover. I don't think, I don't think it'd be a much of a difference, but I think it adds to it. Uh, the other thing, the fact that this is a hatchback too and not a sedan, uh, the sound goes uh, straight into the cabin essentially. So there's a few places where I think this car could use a little bit more insulation. Uh, the other aspect of it, it's supposed to, to increase the sound system. So I think that's a, a nice uh, added benefit to it. Uh, so, so I wanna start with uh, the rear of the car, the hatch. I want to insulate the most I can in the rear and kind of work my way to, towards the front from there, depending on how much uh, left of the product there is. So speaking of how much this is actually supposed to cover, this is supposed to cover 36 square feet. It's also so, uh, something to consider because this is quite heavy. So if you do add this to your car, I think they, calc uh, they mentioned that for every square feet, it adds 0.7 of a pound, so roughly 25 pounds or so uh, for 36 square feet. I've seen some pretty good reviews. I mean, I think um, from what I've seen, it, it does uh, the job for uh, what it's supposed to do. So it's a, it is a cheap uh, uh, Amazon brand, but I'm looking forward to using this. Same thing with the tools. This is pretty much the only specific tool I had to get because um, it's specifically to, to, to roll and make sure it sticks to the metal of the car and the body. I thought the sheets were actually smaller, but if I just take one for example, so the, just the one sheet is actually pretty big. I'd say it's a what, one and a half by two and a half feet about. So I think it'll cover quite a bit. finished doing the trunk section. This is what it looks like. So I just finished installing all the sound deadening that I had and it went pretty well. Uh, so it did take quite a while to install. Uh, so I did it over the course of uh, a few weeks. I'm sure if I would have taken like a full day to, to install everything on the whole car, I uh, could have probably done it in like an eight hour day or probably a little bit less. Um, it's fairly easy to do, but it is something that's time consuming to do. 